There you go. You want to write that down so I can say that? <laughs> <laughs> Give them some key cards. <laughs> Give them a little uh, teleprompter or whatever. He ended up smelling marijuana. It's coming from the vehicle. He did a probable, probable, uh, probable cause search of the vehicle. And he just found some old wrappers that I guess they were <clears throat> cut. Cut? <laughs> what do you mean cut? <laughs> take take ten. <laughs> Wet my whistle. I'm running out of film here. <laughs> All right. <clears throat>
less than a minute. But did you see like when he got to the wood line, he went that way? That's because all that wind blows up against those, that wood line. So he's working it out that way. And so he was actually trying to figure out like, which way to go? Yeah, he's catching his scent. So he's been in there in the woods and that, that scent's just moving through the woods, catching onto trees, branches and all that. So what he's doing is he's working it out. So he went that way and he came back. He realized when he got out there, he doesn't smell it anymore. So he comes back. And he's trying to work out that that odor cloud to figure out, okay, he's not this way. Let me come back this way. And he's just working it out. And you see when he caught it, he went straight into the woods, went straight to him. So that's what we've been working on. I got him. Good boy. That's a good boy. So the article, <clears throat> the hat that we put down, that's basically to let him know this is who you're looking for. Basically, it's scent discrimination so he knows he's not trying to find somebody else. Usually, I mean, he picked up on the, the first area where the decoy started off. He picked that up and went with it. The article's just there to confirm that's what he's looking for, basically. And then from there, he's just he just goes. So here we got uh, one of our sergeants making a traffic stop on a vehicle. I was in a close area, so we're just gonna back him up, make sure he's safe. Huh? What you got to eat? Yeah, um, um <clears throat> Trustful Network. <laughs> you got cable? You got cable? It's on channel. <coughs> it's on channel uh, 76, I believe. Okay. Yeah. We usually broadcast it on Fridays and Saturdays. So you might be on there. Y'all don't want to be on TV? We can put your Snapchat name or your Instagram name on there. Oh, okay. Hey, Blackwood. Blackwood. Do what? Yeah. Um, whoever he is just said pulling the Zach species. Yeah, he said he wants to talk to y'all. Yeah. On that traffic stop, we just backed up Sergeant Robinson. Um, when he went up to the vehicle, he smelled weed coming from the vehicle. So he searched the vehicle. He ended up finding uh, packaging material that contained marijuana at some point. So he ended up tossing that um, during the traffic stop we had a car pull up on the traffic stop and apparently this guy said he needed to talk to the occupants of the vehicle so that's why we always back people up because you never know what's going to happen during your traffic stop <clears throat> so we just got a call about our uh, robbery alarm uh, that's one of our priority one calls, so we're going to get there as fast as possible because you never know what might be going on. So on our priority one calls, it's, um, they are important calls that we need to get there and we had to respond quickly. So that's why you see us running lights and sirens to the call. 
Well, we had other officers who responded to the scene quicker than we did. Uh, when they got there, they told us that everything was okay and that all the other units responding could slow down. So at that point, we just shut down our lights and turn our sirens off and continue on about our day. So once a week, we do training on detection and trailing work with our dogs. Today's Tuesday, so we're gonna do a little bit of detection work today. Uh, we might get into a little bit of trailing a little bit later. And as we go on, I'll narrate everything and tell you how we're doing our stuff as we go. From the, <clears throat> all of it or <clears throat> just the outside of it. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. So basically is, he pulled me straight to that one, so he knew exactly where that one was. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm reading his body language, so I, so I know that he's in odor of his explosive materials. Uh, Right there, he pretty much pulled me to it. There's pretty cut and dry on that one. And he sat at his odor like he's supposed to do. So he did pretty good, I guess. Come on, where's the next one? All the way around the yellow container. Okay. Where is it? First spill. So right here, I can tell he's an odor, just reading them. And there we go. Where is it? Good boy, that's a good boy, good boy. So with these hides that we put out, um, Mike doesn't know where they are. I don't know where they are. The narcotics canine handlers put the, the bomb hides out for me and I put narcotics out for them. Well, <clears throat> when he gets to the source and he sits and he alerts like he's supposed to, I will confirm with them to make sure that he is at source and he's at the correct uh, explosive materials that he's supposed to be at. So when they confirm that he is at source, that's when I reward him with this toy that he loves to play with and he knows that he's done what he's supposed to do. Good boy. So now Mike, after he just ran his hides and his detection work, we're gonna go with our narcotics dogs. First hey. one we're gonna have uh, is Aries. He's a narcotics and tracking dog. I'm gonna run him through six. his detection work and <clears throat> let him, give him search areas to find uh, narcotics and then we'll go with uh, Liberty after him. Here, uh, hey, hey, hey. this little area. Not the gravel area, just like the uh, actual objects right there. Oh, like <clears> the stuff in some, the gravel. Yeah, you have some dead stuff. Whiskey. So there's nothing here? Uh, so there's nothing? No, there is something, but it's all the, not all, it's in the green military right. truck. Which this is a whole pouch of, see, he already got it. Yeah, in the door. One thing I can tell about him, if he's on it and if I want him to check, if I try to get him back on it, he'll start whining. Come here, check, 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 check. Yeah, he does it every time. <laughs> Basically saying, I know it's right there. Quit telling me to check it. I've already, I'm telling you. As much as we train every week and more than once a week, we start to read their body language and 
I, I see him train every week, so I know his body language too, just like I know Liberty's body language, I know Leo's body language. I could tell he was in odor. <clears throat> and uh, we just learned to read them, just being around them all the time and watching them work. You never stop training because that's their, that's their job. That's what they work for, that toy right there. That's their paycheck. We come to work every day to get a paycheck. That's what we work for. Nice. That toy right there, that's his paycheck. That's what he works for. If you don't pay your dog, why would he want to work? That's how they explain it to me. Kilo two. Kilo two. Signal 72 is going to be on a silver Honda Accord. Alan tag. Will be 59 north at the 141. What's going on? Do what? We're in the middle of an order. Do I, I can't hear you. We're in the middle of an order. Okay, you got your driver's license and insurance. Well, here's my insurance card. And we'll try to find the driver's license now. The reason I stopped you, you failed to signal twice on Chalkwell Mountain back here. I'm new to this area. We're staying in a hotel. What hotel are you staying in? It's right over here. Right Which one? Uh, you have your ID on you? I don't. Okay, what's your social? Do what? What's your first name? Who? What's the last name? I can't hear you. How do you spell that? Yeah. Oh. Do what? I can't hear you all this. This is our first delivery. Okay, okay, I got you. Okay. I'll be right back. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know. They might start moving around in there. They came from Quality Inn. You know, there's a lot of dope over there. So, if you just want to keep an eye on them. They might. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. I don't smell anything or see anything but where they're coming from. And I'm about to run them and see what their history uh, is. But just to make sure they're not trying to... He's shaking. They said they're doing DoorDash delivery, but they're staying at the hotel. Stop this car for failure to signal. Failed the signal twice. Uh, <clears throat> they said they're staying at the hotels and they're doing DoorDash delivery. Kilo two. Kilo two. 10.28, 10.29 on social. Kilo two to kilo four. Go ahead. Can you head this way? Ten four. I'm gonna have to stop this traffic. Kilo two, ten three. What's your sir? Ten nine. Are you ten three? Ten four. Um. He says he only has. Uh, A lot. <laughs> he admitted to smoking weed in the past, but that's it. Mike out of Adamsville, traffic. But I think there's more to it. He's, he's not. We got, we got a dog coming. Huh? We got a canine coming. Nice. Hell City. Or a narcotics. We got a canine back here. DUI, liquor, and carrot, FDA on FDA. 
10 4. You see if one of them want to extra that. And y'all mind stepping back here for me because this traffic is getting way too close. Mr. You mind stepping out there? Yeah. You don't have any weapons or anything on you? Okay, you mind just stepping over here for me? You run Liberty for me? I'm just finishing up on these. Okay. So <clears throat> we just had one of our narcotics canines, Liberty, run the vehicle uh, for a free air sniff. She looks like she alerted to the vehicle, so right now we have probable cause to search the vehicle for narcotics. All right, I'm gonna explain to y'all what just, y'all know what happened. Y'all have a clue what happened? Okay. <clears throat> narcotics canine alerted on your vehicle. Wow. Um, is there, you we have probable have. cause to go in there just yes. because off the yeah, canine I'm alert. Kidding. Is there anything in the vehicle? Nothing, nothing on y'all, nothing I like that? I have a few prescription spots in, in my wallet. Okay, and in your wallet's and in there. maybe um, a thing of alcohol mixer in my trunk in my bag. Yeah, I would not worry about the alcohol. Okay. There's no narcotics in there? So, nothing on y'all or anything? Yeah, I don't have my prescription on me, but that's all I have. Nothing, nothing on you or anything. You can check us. You have anything on you? I nothing in your pockets or anything. I went through new pathways and everything. I can't hear you. So what? I went through new pathways and everything. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and search it. Is it okay if they smoke while you do this? Yeah, you go ahead. I'm gonna put gloves on. Ms. Ramsey, you turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back. Put your palms together like you're praying. Sir? Palms together like you're praying. Palms together. Okay. There you go. Are you good transporting her? Where am I going? Do what? You will go to Trustful Jail. Yeah. Then from there, you'll go to Jefferson County for a felony for UPOX. For what? Unlawful possession of a controlled substance. The stops. Yeah. Uh, if you want to step back to his car, we'll take you back there. What's going to happen to all my stops? Car will get towed. He doesn't have a good driver's license, so he can't drive it to. What's going to happen to him? Uh, he, I guess he'll go back to the hotel. Your phone, your phone will go with you. Is that your phone that has a GPS on it? Okay, we'll take a, we'll take that one with you. Call your mama. I'm going for felony. For my yes. Come on. Then you'll go down to, you'll go down to Jefferson County after that. Hey, we'll get, we'll take her phone with us. Yeah. We're going to this one right here. <clears throat> Before you go in here, you don't have anything illegal on you. No, sir. Said we'll find it in the jail. I've got tampons in because I'm on my rage, but that's. Do what? I'm on my period. Oh, yeah. I don't, I'm not taking that. Hey, Pierce. Unlock. He's trying to find the phone. So what 
Um, we let that guy go, the passenger. And before he left, he asked if, uh, he said, can I get my basketball? I said, yeah, man, it's your basketball. And he said, so you play ball? He said, yeah, I play good ball. And he uh, showed me his tattoo of his uh, Jordan symbol with a 23 in it, so he must be legit. He can't beat, he can't beat me, though. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, on that traffic stop that we stopped that vehicle for failure to signal. Uh, the driver, uh, she was acting very nervous when I walked up there. The passenger ended up having four warrants from agencies in St. Clair County. Uh, <clears throat> during the traffic stop, Officer Pierce ran K-9 Liberty. She alerted to the vehicle. We searched the vehicle and we found Suboxone in the vehicle what she originally said was prescribed to her, but she did not have a prescription. Then she changed her story to those uh, Suboxone were actually her mother's. So she's going to jail for unlawful possession of controlled substance.